You know what I find interesting about that plane that Lil Wayne was on that was stopped? Usually, if a rapper or somebody is on a plane, that plane gets stopped and something illegal is taken off that plane, they swear that that plane belongs to that rapper. In this particular case, they're just treating Lil Wayne like he was a passenger. Go figure. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN Jack Frost What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, guns, a gun, drugs, drugs were found on rapper Lil Wayne's plane. Okay, so real quick, uh, just so everybody know, we getting this information from the Miami Herald. Um, before I go much further, I just want to say I've seen conflicting reports on this. So we're going to go with the people who were there. What I'm saying by there is this happened in Miami. Um, so we're going to go with their information for this particular video. And they're saying that a gun and drugs were found on the plane with rapper Lil Wayne. So basically Wayne was just on the plane. They're not saying that it was Wayne's plane. And so let's get right into this real quick And then I'm going to tell you what I think about this Because I do have some opinions on this It goes uh, Rapper Lil Wayne flew into Miami on Monday Aboard a private jet That was stopped by the federal agents Who later found drugs and a firearm on the aircraft According to law enforcement sources Charges could be filed in federal court Okay so there's a couple of things I want to say about this real quick Before we go any further And the first thing is R.I.P. the Juice World. As everybody know, uh, recently Juice World's plane was stopped by local law enforcement in Chicago and by the FBI. And when this plane was stopped, Juice World, they're saying, ingested some pills, which then uh, he actually expired from. He, he ended up dying due to the pills that he had taken. That's basically the story that's out there. And that's uh, basically, I'm not 100% sure what the autopsy confirmed, but the people who were on the plane with him said he ingested some pills and then he went into i believe some kind of uh, cardiac arrest or seizure he was taken to the hospital uh from there he was put into in a coma he was put in a coma I, I guess a medically induced one real quick uh whenever somebody is having a problem with brain swelling or bleeding of the brain often they will put you in a medically induced coma so they can then treat you we heal quickest when we're actually uh at rest so that's one of the reasons why they do it and it also i, I believe i'm not 100 percent sure of this it helps with inflammation anyway to keep going uh, recently after that particular situation happened I told y'all be careful They were going to be stopping Rappers when they fly into different cities And Lil Wayne has been the first that has been stopped since then Anyway the report goes on Miami Dade police had received a tip About weapons and marijuana Possibly being transported on Wayne's plane And then alerted federal authorities So they could obtain a search warning To expect the aircraft at Miami Opa Loca Executive Airport. I have no idea how to say that. I know I messed it up. Sources said. During the search, investigators found cocaine and a gun, they said. Um, also, might I say, I haven't seen, it might say a little bit further down in this particular report that is from the Miami Herald. Uh, it was written by Jay Weaver, uh, Carly Tiproff, and David Ovelli. And it might speak about what was the quantities further in this report. This is the first time I'm reading it. I don't know. But one thing I have to say, when the situation happened with Juice World, they were throwing out immediately. It was 70 pounds of marijuana. There was also this amount of uh, pills. It was that amount of pills. They were putting this information out there immediately. It seems like they're taking a different approach now with Lil Wayne. And a little bit later, I'll explain why I believe they're taking a different approach. 
Anyway, it goes on to say the federal search, which included investigators with the FBI Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives and other agencies ha was carried out Monday evening. Miami-Dade police officers also took per part in the search. Uh, it goes on to say that uh, Miami defense attorney Howard, uh, basically Lil Wayne's lawyer was there. I don't know how to say the guy's last name, but Lil Wayne's lawyer was there and Lil Wayne was cleared to leave the scene Monday evening by federal investigators. Now, there's something that I want to make very clear. And I've basically, as everybody know, BBN, we've been covering the Takashi case. So there's something that I want to make very, very clear. I believe the federal government want these rappers to know and want these people just specifically in the entertainment business to know that if y'all are in business with people who are doing um crimes that we don't necessarily want to put you guys in jail we want to get the guys that is the criminal organization or, or who they believe to be the criminal organization that's who i believe the fbi wants to know and they want it to be known look we're not trying to put you your, your career is not in jeopardy uh, you know maybe for snitching your career is absolutely in jeopardy depending on <laughs> depending on <laughs> what your fear base is but um they're letting people know i believe with the takashi ruling and uh with other ways i believe they're handling a lot of these situations especially now with uh little wayne that they allow for him to go home even though those things was found on the plane they're not immediately attributing it to him remember little wayne had been locked up before for a gun charge that a gun was found on a uh bus he was on he had to do a year in rikers i believe and just so we could be clear on this I believe that they're letting rappers know that when these things are found on the buses or on the planes or wherever that you're on, you know what? We're now going to do a little bit of investigating. <laughs> we know that it's not necessarily yours. It's somebody else's. We're not going to force your hand. We're going to go a different way about it. And I believe that's what the FBI is trying to do right here, openly in public, letting people know, look, we are not immediately assuming that little wayne had anything to do with this cocaine or these or this gun and we're going to actually do an investigation instead of trying to put pressure on the rapper to give up whoever it is that uh they that you know if it was somebody else's anyway it says no immediate charges were filed law enforcement said if anyone has been charged by the u.s attorney's office the person could have spent uh, Christmas in federal custody under normal protocol anyone charged would be taken to the federal detention center in downtown Miami and will have a first appearance in federal court on Thursday the federal courts are closed Tuesday and Wednesday for Christmas and Christmas Day for everybody that don't know Kodak Black is currently in the FDC that's the federal detention uh center <laughs> Kodak Black is currently there that's where he had all of those situations at just to throw that out there so uh, I just want to make very, very clear this particular case. I think that they're going to publicly now there. There's a war on. Uh, I don't want to say the mob, but there's a war on organized crime in music, especially in hip hop. And I believe that there is for one reason or another. Now the government has taken aim at organized crime involved in hip-hop and i think the way that they're doing it now they're going to start dealing with it a lot differently where they're not going to force rappers to have to choose between going to jail and helping them with their investigation the way that they used to you know before it was in such a way that you know they was trying to strong arm artists and if an artist doesn't tell where well, you're going to go to jail and the person who really is did it is going to be free. And when you do do that, if the artist isn't the individual that's actually the brains of the operation and the artist can't tell on the brains of the operation, you're basically put in a situation where the artist is just going to have to go to jail because they cannot tell on the brains of the oper operation. So um, that's if by chance there's somebody behind the artist and the artist isn't the individual that's actually the person that's trying to transport either the drugs or the guns or whatever the case might be with that being said all of you rappers one everybody that's trying to move drugs into the hood stop but all of you rappers y'all better be careful about what y'all put on these planes that y'all flying in and to be perfectly honest with you 
You might want to start flying coach. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You might want to start flying coach. And with all that being said, I would expect anywhere that Little Wayne is flying or traveling, he needs to have somebody with him who has a firearms permit because of the situation that happened when his uh, bus was shot up by, I believe that was um, Young Thug's ex-manager. Uh, so that guy's currently in jail. I, I think he's doing like 30 years or whatever the case might be. So definitely rappers be a little bit more careful the way that y'all moving out here. Um, the FBI and the government is trying to get organized crime out of hip hop. I don't know how successful they'll be. I'm not even saying that organized crime is in hip hop. How about that? But I don't know how successful that could possibly be, but I guess we're going to find out in the future. Anyway, if you have any comments down below, please if you know any other reasons why you think this might have happened you got any opinions about this please leave it down in the comment section um i'm kind of up at arms also anyway like comment subscribe join the notification game hashtag bronx bombers let's get it i love y'all take care of each other hug the kids for me i haven't forgotten about you and that's all i got on this one i'm out if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.